Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone everyone watching right now, I was going to say listening, I guess you would be listening too, um, but welcome, thanks for tuning in to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, so uh, we're going to get right into things. There's one thing that I want to preface this review with. And uh, then, you know, we're just going to try it out, and we're going to get right into things. So Burger King has a, a fairly new item out, and I don't think I've ever tried this one before. I mean, I might have. I know I've reviewed a lot of things over the years. I haven't any recollection, though, of actually trying out this sandwich before. So Burger King, from what I can discern, people either seem to love or hate this sandwich. And either way, it's back. They have released it. And from what I'm seeing online, the reactions seem to be mixed. Uh, some people were saying, you know, I'm so glad that this sandwich is back. I wish it was here year-round. Other people are saying, oh no, not this thing again. But either way, Burger King has brought back the Italian original chicken sandwich. Here's what it has. It has a long breaded, crispy, white meat chicken patty. So think of, you know, this long chicken patty, again, breaded, crispy. Um, it also has mozzarella cheese on top of the chicken, and then it is doused in... Why did that even crack me up? I don't know. It wasn't even a joke. Um, it is coated, or doused, in marinara sauce, and it is on a sesame seed roll. So this is Burger King's take on, you know, Italian cuisine. This is their way of saying, you know, imagine you don't have to go down to your local pizza place or Italian restaurant anymore for something like this. You could just go down to Burger King for such a thing. And uh, it, it just is what it is. I mean, some people seem to like it, so we will see. So price-wise, um, I don't recall it being this expensive normally. Uh, I'm seeing people paying anywhere from five to seven bucks for this, which, uh, that's really something. So, uh, price-wise, like I said, it just is what it is, but that's what we have. So it's one of those long chicken sandwiches with an Italian flair, um, Burger King's way of doing so, so we're gonna see how it is. The one thing I wanted to preface this review by saying, um, in terms of quality, I'm not sure. And I'm saying that right now because I'm really not sure. I, I have two Burger Kings near me. Both of them are awful, and I am not, with no exaggeration, they are terrible. Um, they, they are the worst Burger Kings I've ever seen in my life. Not only in terms of the quality of the, the food received, um, but the entire experience. You would think that these places should be condemned, quite frankly. And uh, they're so bad, as a matter of fact, all the delivery services, you know, DoorDash and... Um, Grubhub, etc. They don't even deliver it from these places. I mean, it's, it's that bad. They, they refuse to even to even work with them at this point. So, needless to say, any sort of undertaking in trying to get this item from these two establishments was a failure. Going to another Burger King, then, um, and I could just go on and on about these two Burger Kings near- I mean, it's just one thing after the next after the next. It, it never ends, and it's just ridiculous stuff. Um, go to another Burger King, and they say, well, we don't have the marinara sauce, and we don't have the mozzarella cheese. We can give you, though, the chicken patty on a, on a bun with nothing else, so is that what you would like? And obviously that's, that's not going to suffice. I want to review the Italian original chicken sandwich. So I said, you know, I, that, that, I just can't do that. And then the guy, the guy got upset at me for, uh, for saying that, which, um, which was just weird, but... Anyway, I sh you know, I'm not even surprised by this anymore. It's just Burger King doing what they do, I guess. Either way, after trial and error, I hope that I have it anyway. I really hope. If, if it's not, if this isn't it, this is on me. Um, but there's the Burger King bag right there. You know, there you have it. There's some grease stains on it, so maybe that's for good luck. 
Burger King pocket handkerchiefs. What you do is you put one in the pocket there, usually if you want to add a little bit of fast food flair to your outfit. I got some fries, I mean, why not? You know, Burger King's finest right there. Well, we'll see. This says 1979 original chicken. So there we go, if you ever... Obviously it doesn't come in any sort of, I guess, specific wrapping or anything, but we'll see. And now here is the moment of truth. Oh boy. Well, it is, this is it. Looks wonderful. Still warm. Still warm. I'll give him credit for that. All right, I got the right thing at least. There it is. This is Burger King. I don't know. Am I being too harsh? Am I just... I think I'm judging a book by its cover too much. Anyway. All the problems that they got, I, I don't know. How can I not just... There it is, though. You can see the mozzarella cheese right there, and some of the marinara sauce. And there's that chicken patty we were talking about. So there it is. We'll get a thumbnail shot. I mean, we'll get multiple thumbnail shots just for the heck of it. Um, here I am with it. We'll get one like this. And we'll kind of go with the more serious one, a little gloomy or something. You know, I, I know I'll be able to make something out of it. What I'm going to do, since we could only do the best with Burger King, I'm going to cut it in half. Some people were saying I should have cut the one burrito from Taco Bell in half, and I think that's a, a fair point. So I'm going to cut this one in half now. Just did. So there's a cross section for you. You could see the chicken to marinara to cheese ratio, mostly chicken. So we'll see. A lot of people really seem to like this one and maybe it's better than, uh, who knows? Let's find out. Burger King's Italian original chicken sandwich going in. Mm-mm. Uh, uh, you know, it was the experience of trying to get this that frustrated me. I try not to... I still try to be impartial. I say, well, look, it's just the experience, you know, the fast food service, whatever, the logistics, etc. Maybe issues that could be fixed, maybe issues outside of one's control, be that mine or Burger King's, right? Sometimes things just happen. I say, well, maybe it's still going to be a good sandwich, right? Maybe it's still going to be decent. Maybe it's still going to, um, to taste all right. I mean, people were saying that they really liked this thing and that, they, um, that they're glad that it's back. Here's a common problem with fast food, though, and... Um, if you've ever had fast food before, and chances are you have if you're watching this, you know the way it goes, where if you, if an item is brought back, I'm trying to say, it might have been good five years ago or two years ago, etc. Is it going to be just as good, though, when it's brought back? You would hope, but is that always the case? You know it's not. And um, I try to sit here as I took that first bite. I'm trying to think, what did people like about this so much? Um, because I can't tell you, I really can't. I'm gonna take one more bite, but I'll tell you this right now, I do not like this. Um, are there some redeeming qualities? There's one or two, but I will just tell you right now, I'm not a fan of this. So second bite.
like you could see again a little cross section there so what's the issue then you know you said you don't like it what's the problem exactly so here's my here's my concern it's it's a huge issue and it's one of those things that it might be so simple but it can easily ruin an entire sandwich or item or meal or whatever it is so here goes it's way too salty it's so salty as a matter of fact that I could only even get myself to swallow it after guzzling down a nice big sip of water um, this is one of the saltiest items I, I, I've ever had um, and that's a huge issue and you know how it is it's such a simple thing but too much salt can ruin something um, you know, it's just so overdone, it's to the point I don't even want to have this in my mouth anymore, you know? It's like, it's, it's, it's just too much. Too much. Uh, the problem is that, number one, the chicken itself is extremely salty. Now, the chicken is on the drier side. I mean, there still is a little bit of moisture in there, but um, I think that's to be expected with Burger King chicken, though, especially, you know, their less premium chicken patties. They're not really known for being the juiciest, um you know, cuts in the world, perhaps. So, the chicken is, is you know, again, kind of dry, but it's very, it's, the chicken itself is salty. You've also got this kind of salt and, and, like, pepper seasoning there on it as well, especially in the breading. So, number one, chicken is salty. Then you have the mozzarella cheese, and then the marinara sauce. And for some weird reason, that's salty as well. I was hoping that the marinara sauce was going to be what balances all of this out. And instead, the marinara sauce, it just tasted weird. It just tasted... It's, it's like you couldn't even really taste much tomato in it at all. I thought that was going to be what's going to balance everything out. And um, all I taste is the salt. I don't know what's going on here. I feel like it would, it would maybe taste this way if you got a salt packet tore it open and just dumped the whole thing on the area that you were to bite beforehand and then took a bite, right? Then I would expect such a thing. But in this instance, it's just bizarre. It's bizarre. And it's not good. So, huge problem right there. I, I kind of had a feeling that there might be some issues with this one because, like I said, just given how the Burger Kings in my area are, um... What more can I really say about it? I mean, is there anything Italian about this from what I can discern? No. Chances are, if you want to get something like this, I would say go to a local Italian restaurant, support your small businesses, go to a mom and pop place that you know will do a good job, and, you know, get an Italian sandwich from there or from a deli or something. Um, this just, as, as one would say casually, this ain't it. Maybe it's just on my end, but when I do these reviews, I try to just say, I'm just a consumer, I'm just, hey, I saw this, you know, in a commercial or on an advertisement, let's go down to the local BK and try it out. That's what I did, and I am thoroughly disappointed with this. There's nothing Italian about it. All I taste is salt, a little bit of chicken, the bun is, uh, is very chewy as well, the roll, I guess you would, you would say. And, uh, yeah, there's a little crisp to the chicken, but what's the point in having a crisp or not when all you can taste is so much salt to the point where you can't even swallow it unless you have to guzzle down a ton of water? And then on top of that, for some of you to have to pay seven bucks for this, not a fan. Burger King is known for their hits or misses. Um, they've had some good items, some bad items. This one isn't good and uh, that I'm disappointed with. I mean, at least I've got some fries I can snack on. But, uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm disappointed by it. You know, that's not to say that I hate Burger King. I don't. I, I used to have a much more uh, greater disdain for them. It's just these days, you know, they have some good items. They have some bad items. This one, just not enjoyable in my case. So, did I just get a bad one? I mean, maybe, but this is what I got. So, as a result, out of 10, um, the Italian original chicken sandwich from Burger King. I'm really sorry to everyone out there who is really looking forward to this one and uh, was hoping for a, a higher score, and maybe it'll be all right for you. I don't know, but reviewing what I got, um, this one is getting a 2 out of 10. The only reason it's not, it's not getting a 1 out of 10 
uh, is because the chicken itself, by itself, was okay. It's still edible. But is it pleasant? Is it enjoyable? No. I rarely ever give scores this low. Rarely do I ever. So, people might say two, but that's still a two. Yeah, but that's extremely, extremely low, all things considered. So, a disappointment, but the good news, I guess, is that Burger King releases a lot of items, and uh, hopefully better things will be on the horizon. So trying out the Italian original chicken sandwich from Burger King, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'm your host, The Report of the Week.